In order to run applications from Unity on an iPod Touch, you need to have AppSync installed on a jailbroken iPod Touch, Xcode 4, and Unity 4 or higher. So the first thing you need to do is jail code, uh, download jail coder from online, the link is in the description, and follow the guided path. So first, you would click OK, got it. You will click on the certificates and follow the on-screen instructions. And then you will have to patch Xcode. After you patch Xcode, you will then have to open up Unity to your project. So opening it up, opening up Unity, you go to File, Build Settings, and you would select iOS, and then you go to Player Settings. Here, you would set up your company name, product name. You'd go here, and then you'd make sure that all these settings are according to your application. And then here, you would do iPhone plus iPad, or just iPhone, whichever one you require. Um, and then you would here, you would do make sure device SDK is selected, and for whichever iOS version of the device is, it's selected. And then you would do build and run. So build and run. And then you would select the version, wherever it is, whatever you want to call the version of this. So I could call it iPhone version 1. It's going to take a while to compile the scripts for the um, device. So now we just have to wait until it finishes compiling everything. And then it will load up Xcode 4. Now, we would have to plug in the iPod Touch into the computer. And now it says that Xcode cannot run using the selected device. It's because my device isn't plugged in. So I have to plug in the device. It should appear normally here. Okay. The reason mine appears here is because you first need to close Xcode, load it up normally, and then you go to learn more about using Xcode, and then you go to devices. You click on the iPod Touch, click on provisioning profiles and come back, and the icon should turn green. If you ask for a developer account, you just click cancel, and it still turns green because of the patch. So now that you have this, open, iPod Touch, it still won't function properly. So you have to go back to the jail coder, go to Finder, Documents, go to the folder in which the application is stored. So for me it would be here. And then you would drag, you would click Patch Project, Patch. Now, you can go to the iPod Touch and it should be able to function properly. So we would ultimately click Run, Build and Run the current scheme. And this will take a considerable amount of time for it to load. Here is generating all the files sandboxing the application for the device. Now we just have to wait. It's only a matter of time to load those successfully. Now it's moving on the files onto the actual computer. I mean the iPod Touch. Now it's sandboxing, and now it should be running here. You can see the application starting up, and it should load normally fine.
Thank you for watching.